hey welcome guys so today we'll see that how we can sort an array using bubble sort so bubble sort is a brute force algorithm which means that its complexity is not good and it solves the problem in big of n square so we'll see how it happens so basically uh, this is my array which is 12 5 3 minus 1 and i want to sort this array which means the final result should be minus 1 then 3 then 5 and then 12 right so that is my output so in bubble sort what we do in f we will take two loops right and in first loops in first loop we check that uh, first 12 will check with 5 and now if 12 is greater than 5 so they will swap the position it means 5 will come here and 12 will come here now 12 will now 12 will check the comparison with 3 and again it will shift the position now so that it will come here 3 will come here and 12 will come here now again 12 will come will compare this position with minus 1 and again they will swap the position so at the end the highest value will come at this position after one iteration right so what we are doing in one iteration we are taking the highest value till the end now in the second iteration will uh, will run this loop now in third iteration will run this loop so how basically we are doing this so let's say i have this array right so first it will check 12 will check with 5 so they will save the position and it will be like this 3 minus 1 now in second the 12 will check the 12 will swap the position with 3 because 12 is greater than 3 so now it will be 3 12 minus 1 and now uh, now it will now 12 will swap the position with minus 1 because 12 is greater than so this is 12 so at the end the highest value which was 12 is at the last right and now what we'll do now we'll run the loop till three values so we can say that ai which is ai a dot length minus one which was four and then again minus i so i will be our first loop so i i will tell you in the program first let understand the logic right and now in the second loop again we'll repeat the same thing so now 5 will compare with 3 so yes 5 is greater than 3 so again they will swap the position so which is right now now 5 will compare with minus 1 so yes again 5 will swap the position with minus 1 so they will be uh, something like this so now 5 is at the again at, at, at its position where it is right and 12 was already there so this is my 12 now i will compare till this one so now the three will compare with minus one and yes they will save the position so this is three right and five and twelve are there so you can say now they are sorted right so this is how bubble sort work so bubble sort means they always checks with next bubble like what's in my next bubble and if it is less than then swap the position else don't swap the position right so how i will do it this is my basic object of the class and this is my print function so print function basically print the all the element of an array so this is basically simple which start from i equal to zero i a dot length and which print the all the values but this is my bubble sort where i'm doing so first i am saying that if uh, if my array length is zero or if my array has only one element so simply return it means they are already sorted but if it is not then loop the function from a dot length minus one because anyhow we'll check the position uh, like from this one right so uh, loop from i equal to zero to a dot length minus one now the second loop will be j equal to 0 a dot a dot length minus 1 minus i minus i why we are doing because at every iteration we are uh, we are fixing the position of the highest element right 
सो दैट इज़ वाई इट मीन्स डोंट रन लूप इन द सेकेंड आइट्रिशियन राइट सो दैट्स वॉट यू आर डूइंग बिकॉज वी वी चेकड ओनली वंस वी हैव सेटिस्फाइड द पोजिशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व एट द एंड देन वी आर चेकिंग ओनली दीज थ्री वैल्यूज सो दैट इज़ वाई वी आर डूइंग माइनस आई राइट बिकॉज एट द स्टार्टिंग द आई विल बी जीरो सो वील रन अगेन वील रन द होल वैल्यूज देन एट द सेकेंड हाइट्रेशन आई विल बी वन सो इट मीन्स वील चेक ओनली the uh, we'll check the three values then at the second position i will be two so we'll again check the these only two values and at the last if it requires we'll check only one values right so now uh, it is like we said if aj is greater than aj plus 1 means if it is greater than the next value then swap the position so we swap the position else we didn't swap the position right and this will and this will do till the last right so so let's uh, let's uh, debug it and then you will see that's what's going on here so let me put a debug point here okay so this is my array this is my so you can see this is my print so now go in the bubble sort and here it will go here so now aj is j0 and this is one first value so yes this is greater so this this will swap the position so how we are swapping the position in tax equals to aj then aj equals to aj plus 1 and then aj plus 1 equals to x this is very easy so now again it will uh, compare with the next value because now j equals to 1 so it will compare with the index with 2 right and you can see so now what is x x is 12 so now it will compare with 3 so that is how it will run and then it will run till uh, minus 1 and minus i and if you see right so the so the logic is same which we explained and at the end it will loop out from here right so you can see here that it is printing the sorted way minus 1 3 5 and 12 and let's say if you have any let's say if you have any 12 and if you run the program okay terminate and then run the program so you will have the 12 12 because there is no change and if you have this one so it means it is printing nothing so basically we are checking all the negative values and let's say this one and if you sort this it is 1 2 6 right so that is how we are solving the problem using double sort and that was our logic that how we can do using double sort right so thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos in next tutorial we will see that how we can sort the element using selection sort and other sorts so thanks